and is based on the 1930s Chicago Tribune, New York Daily News comic strip by Harold Gregg. Forest Grove fifth graders proudly present Annie. <laughs>
laundry man again to scrub the floor and strip the beds for the laundry man. But it's four in the morning. Uh, I know. And you'll clean this stump till it shines like the top of the price of it. Get to work.
nobody's buying them anyway. Gee, thanks, mister. What are you wandering around here for? Why are you at the orphanage? I'm looking for my parents. They left this note with me when I was a baby. I wish I could help you. People come through here all the time. I don't usually get into the last name. Sorry. Hey, folks. You see some scrunchy dog around here? Nope, I ain't seen that dog. Here, boy. Here, boy. Oh, poor boy. Did they hurt you? Or they got you? They're after me, too. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Well, she should be friendly and intelligent. 
Georgia, Mississippi capital, M I double S I double S I double P I, Mississippi. Oh, and cheerful. <laughs>
Rockefeller, Mahatma Gandhi, and Purple. Nothing urgent. What a purple one. He didn't say. <laughs> Mr. Wilkes, I'd like you to be our guest. We'll be having dinner tonight. I have our big one together. But, sir, the guest is the orphan you asked for. This is him. Shall we send us for the Christmas holidays? The orphan? Oh, yes, the orphan. That's not a boy. Orphans are boys. I'm sorry, sir. You just an orphan, so I chose a girl. Don't you go bringing her back when you're tired of her. 
You hear? Good day, Miss Hennigan, and Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Good evening, Mr. Warbucks. Nice to see you drop by. Good evening, Bert. It's nice to meet you. 
Mr. Warbucks, I understand you have something to tell the folks at home about a little friend of yours. Yes, Bert, I do. My friend here, Annie, is 11 years old. It was left on the doorstep of the municipal orphanage right here in New York on December 31st, 1922. She was just a baby. And are you conducting a nationwide search for her parents? Yes, Bert, you know I am. And I'm offering $50,000 to anyone who is near Annie's parents. $50,000? We've been living since the war, So Annie's parents, if you're listening in, are at the care of the station. W-E-A-F, New York, or directly to all the war buses. I'm at my home, Bert. He laid 987 5th Avenue, New York, New York. Good evening, Mr. Warbucks and Annie's parents. Remember, $50,000 and a wonderful daughter waiting for you. Thursday night get together is a gone by fashion. You can say Oxygen, the toothpaste of the stars, making your smile Hollywood bright. This is Bert Hewlett saying.
been waiting to get back here. This is perfect. She doesn't deserve all that money. I have the cat exists. This little piece of gum.
other orphans do. Annie, I think you have something. Wait a minute. I have it. I couldn't place it before. I knew it's in there somewhere. Who? Who are you talking about? Ralph and Shirley Munch. I saw them when I went to the orphanage to get the paper signed. They were coming in as I was leaving. That's it. They must have worked with Miss Hannah. I'll get right on Annie, I hope you're not too disappointed. I know I'm excited to have you stay. I'm glad to be staying. I didn't feel right about the Mudges. And it hurts to think about leaving you. I guess we can have a Christmas celebration after all.
pie. This guy's Mr. Warbucks. Holy pie. Holy pie. pie. Holy here, pass my plate. Holy mac of roly <laughs> pie and noli. So Josue, you just had your. I'm Warbucks' brother. <laughs> you had your uh, grand premiere, or what was it tonight? Um, a grand. Oh, grand premiere, premiere, premiere. And how did it go? It's a fly. Maybe it just. Wait. How did oh, we uh, got it. Yeah, Becca, how did uh, Josue do tonight? Oh my gosh, he did great. Really great. He had really good stage presence. You could tell that he was... Wait, don't go, Josue, stay here. Kind of, you know... I want to go outside. Stay here. Important or whatever. And and uh, he did a really good job in all of you're his whoa. singing and dancing. <gasps> Brother, right. you're important or whatever. If, if you have one uh, suggestion for him, what is it? I got a full Oreo. Um, yeah, maybe to get a little bit closer to Annie during that song. You could. Don't but be afraid of the girls, Josue. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid of the girls. All right? It's just acting, okay? <laughs> How do you think your cousin did? Right. Horrible. If only I knew. Oh, I thought you meant... Oh. If only you knew what? There was a lady sitting about two rows ahead of me. She was a human giraffe with frizzy hair that went in every direction. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Annie? Yeah, a bit longer. <laughs> like Medusa. And it wasn't a hat, so you can say, excuse me, ma'am. No. Uh, um, down in front, could you take off your wee? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that happen in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac, were you there? No. Okay. No were not any Grandma, how did Josue do tonight? Why? Josue did a fabulous Why? job. He sang on small. key. He remembered his lines, he improvised, and he looked like an important man like like Daddy Warbucks is right. supposed to look. When did I improvise? When you muffed a line just a little, you just improvised what it's supposed to I just to said say. it all over again, practically. No, I, didn't so come I, didn't notice, so I didn't even notice that you messed up. So you were playing, you were playing like a like a super rich millionaire. What did you do to get ready for that role, Jose? You're playing one of the most powerful men in the world. Thank you. Is I... Annie a true story? No. To break it to you. <laughs> we're trying to not. No. Okay. Jose. Sing me a song. Well, what did you do to prepare for the role? Because you were playing one of the most powerful men in the world. I mean, he could call up President Roosevelt and just tell him what to do. No, he could You want to sleep over, Mr. President? <laughs> How did you get into the frame of mind of a powerful person like that? I... Call more books all summer, I'll pay you five dollars. I... Deal. Um, I... No, not deal. Shh, yelled at I mean, Isaac. Isaac. You yelled at Isaac? Uh-huh. <laughs> You do that anyways, man. That's not how you prepare for the role. I know, but it helped me. <laughs> yes, Isaac? Uh, I'm going to see it twice tomorrow. You're going to say what twice tomorrow? You're going to see it twice tomorrow. Hey, babe. Hey, how did you do? You did great. You made me cry. You made you cry? <laughs> yeah. Why? I thought that it was a good thing. It was a good thing. But what made you cry? Oh, when he, had, when he was up there like singing his pie. solo. Yeah. Ooh, it, was, it was that bad? No. It was good. Uh, oh, you also, it. Who are you looking at, Mom? You. Don't look at me. <laughs> so, Josue, did anybody ask you for your autograph? Brother, brother, brother. Yeah. Brother. No. Brother. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> okay, one <laughs> person. <laughs> Don't let it go it in your head. It was scary. Was it? What was the scariest part? It was awesome. The whole thing? You know, uh, I think I lost count, like, at 17 or 18, but... You kept saying, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You said that like, I don't know how many times in the last month. Mm, 30.5%. Don't talk with your mouthful. Just finish chewing. <laughs> but you, okay. were, you were ready to right? Can I just have pie with, with a kind of... Yeah. So when you were thinking about Actually, what the scariest thing that could happen Joe, was, Joe what, 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 what did you think the scariest thing that was going to happen? Yeah. If I fainted. Your, your pants were going to fall down. <laughs> that, would be, that would be pretty bad. That would be worse than fainting. You cut a fart on stage. <laughs> okay, there were a lot of 
Oh my god, it's like, it's like, like every it's, breath. That's like Ray screaming, honey, did you cut the, cut the cheese? Yeah, no free holders before the play. Did you bump, you bump into the furniture? What, it, what was your worst fear? Um, falling off stage. Falling off stage? Yeah. Because there's this one part where, um, what would be worse, farting on stage or falling off? <laughs> Falling off. While you're farting. <laughs> <laughs> like Nacho Libre. <laughs> <laughs> Titties blister! <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Alright, I hope I'm not jinxing it for tomorrow night. Alright, well congratulations, Mosway. Here you go. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm turning up. Thank you. When Radio. I do. So for all the hour of smiles, family, this is Bert Healy saying, ha 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 ha.